Gonna take this. Did report. you get any video of this interaction with I the did police? Not. I mean, I mean, I didn't come prepared with the video or an auto audio device. I came prepared yeah. to have the public servants act accordingly. Oh yeah, that's your mistake. <laughs> this edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by Shire Society. Dot com. I'm standing here with Ed Bryans of Swansea, New Hampshire, and you had an interesting uh, incident you wanted to, to tell me about. Um, it was kind of my idea to put you on the Ridley Report. You weren't seeking publicity, but uh, something interesting happened to your daughter in the Keene school system. Tell me about that. Well, uh, approximately two weeks ago, my 13-year-old daughter who attends the Keene Middle School uh, became ill after having a lunch served at the school. In her file uh, in the nurse's office, she has an allergy to turkey. That particular Friday was turkey taco day. Um, my daughter was unaware it was turkey meat, it was brown, and uh, I mean, I would have assumed it was beef. She ate the food, became ill, uh, began to throw up, broke out in hives, was sent to the nurse's office. When reaching the nur nurse's office, they have an emergency contact list that they go down. Now, whether there's multiple names on that, I'm not aware, but I do know that as the list was gone through, the mother was not available, uh, the next relative was not available to pick my daughter up, all the way down to what is my former wife, um, who is an ex-stepmother, was called, uh, can you come pick up this sick child? Everybody was out of town. Um, the third person that was called, the ex-wife, uh, could hear my daughter crying in the background, was miserable, and my daughter then is overheard asking the nurse, well, call my dad, my dad will pick me up. The nurse on the phone, in earshot of my daughter, said, I cannot call you, Father. There is a note in the file here that states that there is a no contact order. I cannot call them. Now, the person on the phone uh, overheard the same information and basically had an argument with the nurse. No, there is no order of that that exists. So you need to call her father and get somebody to pick up this young lady right away. The nurse was very adamant that there was an actual note. Um, fast forward a little bit, I did not find out about this until this was on a Friday. I found out about it on Monday when I spent time with my daughter. She said, yeah, Dad, I tried to you know, call you to have get picked up. Uh, it was repeated to me on Wednesday, and I began to realize the extent that there is a law in the books, RSA 633-4, and it's called uh, Interference with Custody, and it specifically says anyone who entices, detains, conceals a child from a fit parent, having said parental rights, is guilty of this criminal act. In my opinion, the school committed this criminal act. They did so you're not saying they also maybe libeled you? They, yeah, I mean, not only was it extremely disparaging in front of my daughter to to state something that is fictitious. I mean, there, there is no order. I mean, I stand before you and the world stating that there is no such order that has ever existed. I can understand there may be situations in school where a child may be, need to be protected from maybe an unfit parent. And if there is a signed court order, it should be on file at the school. There should be a note in the system so that that child is protected. No such order has ever existed on me. How it was put in there, to me, is where I believe if the nurse read this note, she acted accordingly. She did her job and she did it right. But since reporting this to both the principal and to the SAU 29 school board, 
this note that's in the file has mysteriously vanished. Now, just to go a little further. Well, what, if anything, have they done to try and make you whole? Well, if I may finish one piece of this, when I was not getting satisfaction, I wanted immediate, uh, I wanted immediate response. I went to the Keene Police Department to report this crime. Two officers came out, and Officer Lamoureau, who is also happens to be the, uh, the, the school liaison officer, so I mean, I'm, I'm assuming he works very closely with the school, basically told me, I am not going to do anything about this. I am not going to take a report, and there is something you're not telling us. Basically calling me a liar, saying you're, you're hiding something from us, so I'm not going to take this did report. Did you get any video of this interaction with I the police? I did not, but what I did is I asked to speak to his supervisor, uh, and Officer Short came out and basically repeated the same thing to me. I mean, I didn't come prepared with the video or an audio, audio device. You did, you I weren't came, prepared, that's true. I, I, I came prepared yeah. to have the public servants act accordingly. Oh yeah, that's your mistake. <laughs> what was I thinking? <laughs> yeah. But... The old world is collapsing. And it's going to take its slave driver governments with it. But what will rise up in their place? In New Hampshire, the Shire Society has a plan, a thriving web forum, and a history of action. It didn't take long to come up with a plan. You can sign up right now at ShireSociety.com.